compass scattering experiment. This experiment was constructed by the Geiger and Marston, his colleagues. Even though experimental in this experiment, this one is the lead block. Inside the lead block, yes, is the speck or the, but the source of the alpha particles. And this one is the collimeter or nothing but the lead slit. And this one is the thin gold foil. Its thickness is about 10 raised to minus 8 meter. Its actual thickness is 2.18 to 10 raised to minus 7 meter. This gold foil is surrounded by the zinc sulfide screen. This one is the zinc sulfide screen. This zinc sulfide screen is used because when the alpha particle is collide or incident on the sulfide screen, it produces the scintillation. Means the bright flash is produced. And this is scattered alpha particles are detected by using the detector with the microscope and also the circular scale is fixed for measuring the angle of scattering so even though alpha scattering Rutherford alpha scattering experimental na Geiger Marston and the Kantar arrangement even though experimentally, yes, and the kanta, the speck, the source of alpha particle, even the even the lead block now are getting it. Here is the collimeter, or here is the lead slit. Our the alpha rays are now collimated beam and magnetic. Here is the collimeter we use. Here is the thin layer of the kanta gold foil. That is near the rest of minus eight meter thickness of the kanta very thin gold foil. Our surrounding a little zinc sulfide screen. A zinc sulfide screen on a Yakopioxida and Tandra Yavaga out scattered alpha particle zinc sulfide screen go buddito other is scintillation on it. And the bright flash produce on it. Other in the alpha particle yearly incident I give the screen melee and not go to get there. Other than detect Mandeke use the detector with the microscope and use Mandi. In the complete arrangement, the vacuum chamber is enclosed. So, this alpha particle is nothing but the helium nucleus. This is the helium nucleus, two protons, two neutrons. This alpha particle mass of four times the atomic mass unit and charge plus two e. Two protons plus two e. And the alpha particle is positive charge. So, this experiment is the Rutherford nuclear atomic model that we discovered. So, in the Bandhanta, the alpha rays will pass. That is the slit to collimated beam and model. That is the collimated beam. This is the gold foil will be passed. This diagram is the most of the most of the alpha particles are passes straight. Straight and passes. Few of the alpha particles could deflect either way. Very, very few alpha particles could hear it. More than 90 degree angle only reflect either way. So, however, even though experimentally, theta and the angle of scattering and the initial direction of the alpha particle and the deflected deviated position. And the initial direction of the alpha particle is deviated. It is the if the director straight up pass the theta 0, if theta is goes on increases, if you have theta nearly 90 degrees, if you have 90 degrees, if you have more than 90 degrees, if you have more than 90 degrees, if you have 180 degrees. Here is the theta and the angle of scattering between initial direction of the alpha particle and deviated or scattered direction. So even the experimental observations are not graphically noted. Along the y-axis, n is number of alpha particles are scattered. A gold foil in the scatter the number of alpha particles on the y-axis minus and angle of scattering theta is taken along the x-axis. In n value 0, 10, 10 raise to 2, 10 raise to 4, 10 raise to 6, 10 raise to 8, either. other than the angle of scattering go 10, 20, 30, 40, 90, 180 degree. So even the grapple only, in the nearly 10 raise to 7 atoms angle 0 is there. Angle 0 is there. Right? 
ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಡಿ ಇಯರ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಲೆಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಲೆಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಅಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದಾವೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಇಂದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಏನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ರುದ್ರಫೋ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕೊಲಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಐಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿ ಐಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾಯಿಲ್ ಈ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಐಟಮ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಕೊಲೈಡ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾವೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೊಲಿಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಏನು nearly 0.1% 14% of the items gets deviated at an angle more than 1 degree adara more than 1 degree angle alli 0.14% of the items will deviate agidave andre eno 1000 items galalli 1000 alpha particles galalli 14 alpha particles ko more than 1 degree angle alli deviate agidave ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏನು ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏಟ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಲ್ಪ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ನ ಈ ಒಂದು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ನ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಐಟಮ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಸೈಜ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ವೈಲ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅರ್ನೆಸ್ಟ್ ರದರ್ಫೋರ್ಡ್ ಬೊಂಬಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಫ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಥಿನ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾಯಿಲ್ ಹಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ಫ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ನೌ according to thomson's atomic model an atom consists of a positively charged sphere with electrons embedded in it so rutherford expected that almost all the alpha particles will pass straight and only small deflection will be observed if there would be any however rutherford got totally contrasting results from his experiment he made the following observations first most of the fast moving alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil second some alpha particles were deflected through the foil by small angle and the third point some alpha particles were deflected by large angles in rare cases an alpha particle got deflected by an angle of 180 degree based on his observations rutherford derived the following conclusions from his gold foil experiment first since most alpha particles pass through the gold foil without any deflection most of the space inside an atom is empty second very few particles suffered a deflection from their path now this means that positive charge occupies very little space inside an atom third and final point as a small fraction of particles got deflected completely by 180 degree all positive charge and mass of gold atoms are present within a very small volume inside the atom bohr's model of an atom in this module you will learn about the bohr's model of an atom prior to bohr there were a number of scientists who were working on the structure of atom rutherford was one of them and his model was the closest model to the bohr model of atom in fact Niels Bohr had helped to overcome the problem in the Rutherford's model of an atom. The Rutherford's model of an atom had a major drawback that it could not explain the stability. It showed that electrons in an atom revolve around a positively charged center called nucleus. However, later on, it was found that any particle in a circular motion would undergo acceleration. and thus would lose energy so the electron would take a spiral path and would finally fall into the nucleus and the atom would collapse but this does not take place in reality bohr said that electrons do revolve around the nucleus 
but their energy remains fixed. He explained that the energy of electrons remains fixed because they are restricted to some fixed orbits. Each of these orbits is at a fixed distance from the nucleus and is associated with a fixed amount of energy. These orbits with fixed energy are known as discrete orbits or energy levels. These energy levels are represented by the letters K, L, M, N or the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 starting from the center. So, the final model of Niels Bohr was similar to the Rutherford's model of an atom which states that an atom consists of a positively charged center around which the electrons revolve. The only difference was that in the Bohr model, electrons revolve around a nucleus in fixed orbits with fixed energy. For his work on structure of atom, he got a Nobel Prize in 1922. Let's recap. Bohr model of atom suggested that an atom consists of a positively charged nucleus and electrons revolve around it in special orbits called discrete orbits or energy levels. The energy of these discrete orbits remains fixed. These energy levels are represented by 1, 2, 3, 4 or KLMN starting from the center. Bohr got the Nobel Prize for his work in 1922.